Uh, the chair recognizes Representative Van Orden for five minutes. Uh, thank you very much, Madam Chair. I have friends who are combat veterans who have personally benefited from these treatments. Some cases they had to pay for them out of pocket. In other cases, there's charities that have been established. And my friends are here. I can pick up my phone right now and call them. I can call them and say hi because they haven't committed suicide. And to me, that's incredibly important. It's a very personal issue, and we're going to talk about this later, including one of the bills that uh, I hope you all support. Um, we have to do something different. We have to. Um, we've got, what, $120 billion into the VA for suicide prevention since 9-11. $16.5 billion this year alone for suicide prevention and our veteran suicide rate is increasing. And if we can prevent one veteran from committing suicide so we don't have to go to another funeral, then we should do it. Because what we're doing and all the you know, scientifically proven uh, treatment modalities that the VA is using are not working. And we can quantify that because our veterans uh, rate of suicide is increasing. And so I, would, I respect you tremendously Ms. Brownlee, and I would ask you to very thoughtfully reconsider your position um, because, again, I can call several of my friends right now and tell them I care about them deeply because they're still alive and they benefited directly from HBOT therapy. And with that, I yield back. Thank you, Madam Chair. I just want to briefly speak about uh, H.R. 4424 uh, that was put in by my good friend from New York, Mr. Lolota. So about uh, Vietnam veterans liver fluke cancer study. I see that the VA uh, disapproves of this they, or they don't support it. I get that and one of the reasons is that they may have to update their regulations to reflect a change. If at any way, uh, any time that the Veterans Administration was unwilling to do something that could potentially uh, help one of our Vietnam veterans because they may have to take the time to update a regulation, to me that's suspect and therefore I ask everyone to support this and uh, oppose the VA's rather silly um, excuse for not doing so. Uh, now I'd like to speak on H.R. 7347. It's my um, bill to amend Title 38 of the United States Code to direct the Secretary about psychedelics getting into the formulary. And again, I'm going to stress that what the Veterans Administration is doing is not working in preventing veteran suicide. We can quantify that. We have numbers. We have widows. We have widowers. We have kids without parents because they've committed suicide as a direct result of their service to our nation. We were able to sit here and have this committee hearing in peace because men and women are standing overseas protecting our lives and we owe it to them. We just owe it to them. And I'll be honest with you, I've said this before, I am not fully sold on these psychedelic things. They are a therapeutic tool and I'm not completely sold on them. But I'm unwilling to go to another damn funeral because we didn't try everything we could. Same reason that we, I think we should be using the HBOT. Same reason I think that we should look into these therapies using cannabis. I'm not sold on them completely. But if this can be a way that we can expand the universe of treatments for our veterans, who we owe our freedom to, and we can save one of them, then we should be doing it. And I also want this to be a way for us to look at some other treatments that people are uncomfortable with for some reasons, like the incredibly successful faith-based programs like the Mighty Oaks Warrior Foundation. Proven to work, changing a person because of what I view as a spiritual wound. That's what I think is the root of, of PTSD. I believe that. And these programs work also. So I would just implore um, anybody on this committee that has ever been to a funeral, a veteran that has committed suicide, to remember that. And if any member of this committee would like to go with me to a veteran's funeral that committed suicide, which is gonna happen, I'd be more than happy to accompany you to that funeral. And I believe that looking at these children in their eyes will change your perspective profoundly. And with that, I yield back.